Now, the Republic of North Macedonia was approved, of course, last Friday by the Greek Parliament, but it doesn't really seem to be the end of that matter, does it? No, this is not the end of this matter, because this is a deal that left the Greek people deeply divided. Last night, as we saw in the pictures, around 250 protesters, including some masked ones, had gathered outside the Saloniki Music Hall to protest against the deal that renamed the neighboring country. The protest uh, was staged on the occasion of the visit of the President of the Greek Republic, Prokopis Pavlopoulos, who attended uh, a ceremony commemorating the, Jewing Holocaust, the Jewish Holocaust and he gave a keynote speech. Even before the President arrived, the angry protesters tried to break the police ranks around the building of the uh, music hall, but they were pushed back by the policemen who used tear gas. And uh, later, the masked uh, protesters uh, set a barricade around uh, the area using trash cans and a discarded Christmas tree, but they were pushed back as well. They are very angry at the President of the Greek Republic because they say that he didn't try to intervene in the ratification of the deal, but the truth is that his role is merely ceremonial and there is not much he could do. Polls uh, show that a majority of Greeks, especially in the northern of Greece, uh, to the agreement with a neighboring country and tensions are really high especially in the Greek region of Macedonia. So this is why many analysts say that this was a victory for Alexis Tsipras but it was a victory like a coin like a coin with two sides. For one side he won a very important bet. He resolved the dispute with a neighboring country this was one of his most important goals and he achieved him. <clears throat> From the other side, this uh, deal left him without a coalition partner. If you, as you remember last uh, week, the coalition partner left the government because of the ratification of the deal. So, every time he will want to pass a bill from the parliament, he will have to seek for ad hoc alliances uh, from now and until the elections.